Hey guys, I'm Eric Creel, the Disney Pixar and DreamWorks critic, and today is my redo review on Ralph Breaks the Internet. If you have not seen my original review on Ralph Breaks the Internet, click in the link in the description. Let's get started. I'm excused. We have Ralph and Penelope who want to found out in the Sugar Rush Racing, and then Penelope, when suddenly, what happened? And then basically, some people, when the Sugar Rush steering wheel got broken, and they like to find a way to find a brand new one on eBay, and then suddenly, when Ralph and Penelope found out to go into the internet, and to meet with those more, to find the Sugar Rush steering wheel. And then basically happens is they found out on eBay. And then basically happens is when Ralph and Penelope meets the green guy who want to go to Slar Race and to meet with Shank. And then when basically happens is when Ralph who want to found out to find and yes. And then basically happens is when Ralph and Penelope, who want to found out for the internet. And then when basically when Penelope meets the Disney princesses in Oh My Disney. And then when basically happens is when Ralph, who want to found out what happened if they need to find a Sugar Rush steering wheel before it's too late. And then when Penelope sings in this place called Slaughter Race. And then when basically happens is when Ralph and the green guy meets with the weird guy, and then when basically happens is when Ralph wants to find Vanellope in all costs, and then basically happens is when the virus gets so many Ralphs at any time, and then it's up to Ralph and Vanellope to help to save while prevent the virus. And then when basically happens is Soon as Penelope and including the Disney princesses rescues Ralph at all costs, and then the Sugar Rush steering wheel is here for the brand new in the Sugar Rush arcade cabinet. And then when basically happens, when that's all the happiness for the good times, when Ralph and Fixit Felix Jr. have the good time to go back to work in the arcade machine. And at the post credits, when Baby Moana plays Pancakes and Milkshakes, <laughs> that is so funny. And another post credits, when Ralph sings Never Give You Up. And that's basically the plot for the entire film. So, what do I think of Ralph Breaks the Internet? Ah, oh, yes, it was even better than the first. That time we saw with my family in XD. Back in Saturday, November the 24th of 2018, and I give it a rewatch it on my PlayStation 4 Pro for my Blu-ray back in January the 28th, 2021, and then what do I think of it? It's awesome! It was even cooler than the first. The story looks very awesome, and it has made sense, and it looks amazing. The animation looks very awesome at the best. At the characters, we have Ralph. He is amazing in the sequel. Penelope, she's fantastic in the sequel. And then we have Felix. He is amazing. And here we have Calhoun. She is awesome. And the rest of the RK cameos look very awesome. And oh. And don't forget about the brand new character, Shank. Awesome! Best character of the entire film. And what about the brand new characters? We have the green guy. It looks awesome. Played by the same persons who played Fear from Inside Out. Flint Lockwood from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs to Walchi. And especially Gagne from Turbo. Which Gagne from Turbo is hands down the worst roles I've ever seen in my life. But the green guy from Ralph Breaks the Internet is absolutely better in my personal taste. 
And then, what about the weird guy? The weird guy looks funny. And Mr. Nosemore is awesome! Which is played by the same persons who played King Candy from Wreck-It Ralph, Duke Wesselton from Frozen, Alistair Cray from Big Hero 6, the weasel guy from Zootopia, Ludo from Star Force Force Evil, and even King River from Star Force Force Evil. And yes, the rest of the brand new characters look very awesome. And the music scores look pretty awesome. And the songs we have in this place called Slaughter Race, that is amazing. And especially Never Give You Up because the Ralph covers, that is awesome! And including the rest of the Disney princesses with a brand new characters look very awesome! No negatives and no issues at the best. Overall, it gets an infinity out of 10 in my personal opinion. And it gets the seal of epic masterpiece. So, what do you think of Ralph Breaks the Internet? Rather, you liked it or not. So let me know in the comments and tell me what you think of that film. And stay tuned for tomorrow is my redo review on Frozen 2! Yay! If you want to see more videos, click subscribe button or click the notification bell if you want to see more notifications. So, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day today.